Hello, my name is Lucas, this is Bit of Lit, and I would like to tell you about a fantastic novel that I have read. Finally, I've read another good book. It's been a long time. This year has not been any good for me, <laughs> save maybe one or two books. And that would include this one. Uh, that is Red Sorghum by Mo Yan, who is a Chinese author and also, I believe, the only Chinese uh, Nobel laureate winner for the uh, prize for literature. And there's also a movie for Red Sorghum and there is a very long television show for Red Sorghum, uh, both uh, Chinese, of course, and um, I'm amazed at the stunning use of language. Uh, this is translated by Howard Goldblatt, uh, and it's, it's really well translated. Um, you know, you, I feel like you can still really get a great picture of what Moyan is trying to go for. Um, very strong um, descriptions, especially of nature, of uh, the outside world, of these beautiful landscapes and colors of this red sorghum field, um, of the blue skies above. Uh, the red is a primary color, uh, not only in the art world, but in this book, of course, you can see the whole thing is red, and in China, it's a <laughs> very important color, uh, which means luck. But in this case, uh, it's part of it is the red sorghum, and part of it is a representation of the absolutely brutal, violent history uh, that is shown in this novel. There's uh, chapters interspersed with brutal detailings of what the Japanese were doing during the war. Uh, as they occupied parts of China um, in the 30s. And also there's parts in here that are in the 20s, and then a little bit at the end uh, in 1980s. Um, it can be a little bit confusing if you are not carefully reading, uh, because sometimes it, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> a smooth transition in some ways. Uh, this is told um, by the grandson of uh, three generations of family, but it's told by like the grandson. It seems like his father is the primary character, the main character. Um, and then it has a lot to do with his grandmother who died and the effects of that, which were quite drastic on this um, wine mill uh, in the red sorghum fields. Uh, this whole family has a whole bunch of unsavory characters who are also very enjoyable and likable in some ways, but <laughs> some of their faults are quite um, quite stark, quite contrasting. Um, there's bandits in here, there's war, there's brutality. Uh, not only is the uh, book beautifully described but uh, when it comes to nature uh, but uh, in another sense nature is also involved because there are the um, how do you say it uh, there are these parts <laughs> of the book that are very honest about nature it shows the burping and the farting and uh, the defecating and all this kind of stuff uh, <laughs> and the concerns that some men have for their ability to, uh, you know, perform, so to speak. Um, all these kinds of things are all intermixed in this really touching story uh, of these very complex, dark, fascinating characters. Um, <laughs> and then, then you know, there will be parts like, for example, one character, uh, there's this part of the book that has to do with um, uh, these dogs that are now eating the dead that are just everywhere, uh, and they're a big problem for everybody. Uh, and in a way, I think, uh, you know, the dogs are kind of like bandits in their own way, which sort of is reminiscent of, um, you know, the, the 
uh, character that is a bandit or the like sort of a bandit uh, leader um, and you know the dogs end up kind of fighting uh, fighting with each other over stuff just like bandits probably would have uh, but there's a point where the dogs uh, bite someone's scrotum and <laughs> a testicle falls out um, there are other gruesome things like that and that is told in very abrasive kind of language very honest and it's like no please uh, I don't want to imagine that <laughs> but um, all told uh, there's just so many amazing scenes lots of really powerful moments lots of uh, really carefully considered just gorgeous uh, language used uh, really well done translation on that part um, you know you get a real strong sense of uh, the complexities uh, and the difficulties uh, that these people were facing in war um, and it's just really well done in that way it's just amazing I highly recommend this novel um, and I look forward to reading more Moyan um, because I am sold I, I really enjoy all the elements of uh, what he writes about even though some of them are a little unsavory and disturbing <laughs> uh, thank you goodbye